we're given z equals x cubed plus xy squared, where x equals uv cubed and y equals u plus v times e raised to the power of w. We're asked to determine the partial derivative of z with respect to u when u equals 2, v equals negative 1, and w equals 0. Notice here the given function z is a function of two variables, where x and y are functions of three variables, u, v, and w. And therefore, to find this partial derivative, we'll have to apply the chain rule, which is given here below, where if the given function z is a function of two variables, which are functions of three independent variables, we would use the chain rule to find the partial derivatives given here below. But notice in our notes, the independent variables are st and u, and in our problem, the independent variables are u, v, and w. So let's begin by setting up the chain rule for the partial derivative of z with respect to u. We'd have the partial derivative of z with respect to u is equal to the partial of z with respect to x times the partial of x with respect to u, and then we'd have plus the partial of z with respect to y times the partial of y with respect to u. So we'll first determine this partial derivative, and then evaluate at the given values for u, v, and w. So the partial of z with respect to u is equal to the partial of z with respect to x. So we'll differentiate z with respect to x, treating y as a constant. So we would have 3x squared plus y squared. Again, we're treating y as a constant as we differentiate with respect to x. And then we have times the partial of x with respect to u. So here's x. We differentiate x with respect to u, treating v as a constant and therefore we just have v cubed. Then we have plus the partial of z with respect to y, so we differentiate z with respect to y, treating x as a constant, and therefore the derivative would just be 2xy. And then finally we have times the partial of y with respect to u, so differentiating y with respect to u, we treat both v and w as constants, and therefore the partial derivative is just one. Now from here, if we were asked to give the partial of z with respect to u, we would want this function in terms of just u, v, and w, but for this question, because we're just evaluating it at u, v, and w, instead of performing substitutions for x and y, let's go ahead and leave it in this form, and what we'll do is determine the value of x and y when u equals two, v equals negative one, and w equals zero. That'll make the substitution a lot more manageable. So let's find x of two comma negative one comma zero, meaning the value of x when u equals two, v equals negative one, and w equals zero. So here's x, so we have u, which is two, times v cubed, which would be negative one cubed, which would just be negative two. Now let's find y of two comma negative one comma zero. So y is equal to u plus v times e to the w. So we'd have two plus negative one times e raised to the power of zero. e to the zero is one, so we just have two plus negative one, which equals one. So now we'll determine the value of the partial derivative Again, when u equals two, v equals negative one, and w equals zero. So we have three, and then for x squared, we know x is going to be negative two, so we have negative two squared plus y squared, which would be one squared. So we have this quantity times v cubed, where we know v is negative one, so times negative one cubed and then plus, well, 2xy times 1 is just 2xy, so we have 2 times x, which would be negative 2, times y, which would be positive 1. So let's go ahead and simplify. Working inside the parentheses here, negative 2 squared is 4, 4 times 3 is 12, 12 plus 1 squared, that would be 12 plus 1 or 13. And we have negative 1 cubed, that's just going to be negative 1. And we have plus two times negative two times one is negative four. So we have negative 13 plus negative four, which equals negative 17. 
So we now know that the partial derivative of z with respect to u is equal to negative 17 when u equals 2, v equals negative 1, and w equals 0. I hope you found this helpful.